Hey guys, we are at 55 Anderson Way and this is a very unique house. And as you can see, we have, we are right across the street from the river. So if you want to have a very unique cabin that has a unique feature that most cabins don't have, this is gonna be the one for you. Just wait for this walkthrough. You're gonna absolutely love it. All right, guys. So like I said, here we are. We're on the, we're gonna start this on the top side of 55 Anderson Way. Now this is a, a four bedroom, but it's, it's laid out a little differently. It actually has its own suite and then the main house, but also it's got a two bedroom garage that's associated with the ensuite. So let me show you. And as you can see here, you got tons of parking. You can come through here. You've got your garage. Main house is over here. This is literally, it's just a road that, that satiates just a couple houses right here. So you're not gonna have any through traffic or anything like that. So, and again, this is down in the Aska area. Super, super easy to get to. Now, here's the garage. And if you are an investor, you know, looking at this, this is opportunity. This is where you can set up an additional game room. You could do, you could do a hundred things in here. Movie room, wall this up, frame it up. You know, you could turn this into a lot of things. And this is a big two car garage. It just, you know, right now I would do the easy thing. Turn this into a pool hall, essentially. Renters would absolutely love it. Below this, we do have the ensuite. So let's, uh, tell you what, let's go check that out first before we check out the main house. So to get to the little suite, we're gonna go downstairs. And this is all new Trex flooring that they put down here. So this will last a long time. All this decking is new. They've spent a lot, a lot of money on this deck. They renovated it and it looks amazing. Uh, super chic and super hardy. It's gonna last a long, 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 long time. So brand new decking, absolutely awesome. Now, right here, I wanna say there is some sort of, um, we call it like steam room spa thing in here and the homeowners don't know anything about it so they haven't really messed with it don't really know if it works it's a, it's a sauna don't really know how well it works but it turned on when they bought it they've locked it they just don't know anything about it and don't really want to mess with it and i'll be perfectly honest with you there there needs to be some boards replaced on the back side of this but this could be an awesome amenity for people that are willing to kind of go that extra mile and, and, and get this prepped also you have a nice little built-in fire pit area here you can put chairs around this easily. And here's the little ensuite area. As you can see, the hot tub's here. You got a newish hot tub, okay? Looks great, super clean, new top on it. This one's ready to go with the stairs out there. And again, you know, you're gonna have river frontage right over there. Uh, now let's go into the, here we are into the little suite. And it's just a little one bedroom with a kitchenette. It's got its own, uh, you got your own little AC unit there, own mini split. They've got a, I don't know if this is a full, maybe a full or queen, I'm not sure. Super nice, super hardy uh, furniture in here. Needs a little pop, needs a little pop. I would probably paint the walls white uh, just to make this place look a little bigger. A little bathroom associated with it. Tiled, shower, let's, let's get a look with a fiberglass pan, okay? So nice little shower area here, new toilet, and the little kitchenette. You know, nothing fancy, but if somebody wants to hang out here, need a perfect place to do it. Let me see. Sorry, shine a little light on this. But yeah, you know, you got your own little fridge, microwave, little stove. Again, nice little private retreat. You could probably even rent this separately um, if you were a motivated Airbnb owner. So really cool. Again, it's a hot tub, newish hot tub. I wouldn't, you know, three, four, five. I mean, it's less than 10 years old, plenty of life left in it. All right. So that is the ensuite. Now let's carry on into the main house. So there's one of the bedrooms. And we'll go into the, I guess you call it the front door of the main cabin. I love this style of woodwork on the side. This rough-hewn lumber looks really good. 
Alrighty. Now, all the bedrooms on this is downstairs. All right, I'm gonna show you around. As soon as you walk into the entryway, you've got all these windows, all this natural light, and you got the river right there below you. I mean, how cool is that? You couldn't ask for anything more than that. So, I absolutely love this cabin. You got this long, long kind of uh, breezeway, eating area, hangout space. You can, I mean, you could, you could set up, if it was wet outside, you could set up cornhole in here. Um, heck, you could put a ping pong table up here if you wanted to. Obviously, plenty of room for eating, all that. I love the little bar where you could sit up here and drink your coffee, watch the river if you wanted to. Kitchen, you know, I, I, it's, I, lo I love the exposed beams. It's got everything you have. It's not a small kitchen either. Everything you need right here. Plenty of space, nice fridge. Again, not a cramped kitchen, okay? This is a, a really good sized kitchen for anybody that actually needs to use it. Let's go into the main living area. And I just love this. This is just classic, classy, old school kind of cabin feel. Big screen TVs up. They got the little built-ins here for the library, gas fireplace, and everything you see here is, is, is for sale, okay? Really nice new couches. They've got the, uh, the couches got the USB and all that stuff plugged into it. So, I mean, it's, it, this place is ready to rock. Top of that, you've got Wi-Fi thermostats, I believe. Yep, Wi-Fi thermostats. So, cozy, cozy living room, great space. You could probably figure out how to add more seating, but I think it's sufficient. Now, one more aspect of this upstairs that you'll kind of miss. You'll see this, this little door. It doesn't look like a big door, but boom. A really nice, super chic kitchen, um, sorry, bathroom. Custom tiled shower. Love this sink. It's really cool. But again, a really, really nice, you wouldn't expect, a, you know, all these materials in here because they are kind of, kind of newish in this classic cabin. But here we are, really cool, really, really well finished bathroom. Now let's go downstairs. All the bedrooms are down here, okay? And let's go into bedroom number one. Now this is, I guess you could call this the master. Again, you've got the you've got the gas fireplace, big screen up there, uh, king bed here, private bathroom, modern finishes. Absolutely love this live edge with that. Looks really good, super cool. And then over here, you have the laundry room, big laundry room. So if you got muddy, wet stuff, you can figure it out here. This is storage room. Don't have the keys for that, but you know that's kind of just a private storage room. Just a big closet. Here it has its own sitting room with a library built in. Again, I would probably, if I'm renting this, I'm gonna set up some a coffee bar right over here to where somebody can sit right here, swing the, slide the door open, listen to the running water outside. Also, you have uh, another access to another feature. You got this little bump out on the deck. They've got a heater out there, two more chairs. So again, if you wanna sit right there on that part of the deck, you can. And of course, you've got the wraparound deck that goes around the whole front of the house, or the back side of the house. All right, this is bedroom number one, little closet there. We're gonna go around here and we're gonna see the next two bedrooms. All right, here we got a, again, I think this is more of a queen, queen size bed, could be a full, but I think this one's a queen. Little closet there. Now in the little sitting room here, they've actually kind of gone more with a game room environment, okay? They've got the foosball table. You've got sliding doors to this back patio, you know, to the back patio. And you have a multi-cade right here, which is awesome. Kids will, kids will be down here all the time. Uh, and again, nice little foosball table. And so that's, bed, that's bedroom 
number two in the house, number three overall. And then the last bedroom, they've got a king bed in here, little closet. And then on the extra area here, we've got some built-in bunks, which is awesome. So this cabin's gonna sleep a lot of folks. Now, let's see, here we go. And yeah, that is it. This is 55 Anderson Way in Blue Ridge, an absolutely awesome property. You even have this kind of, I don't know, call it crow's nest. You got this little spiral, spiral staircase. So if you're up there drinking your coffee, hanging out, you can walk down here and uh, really, really enjoy, you know, your stay, you know, having your own kind of private piece of river right in front of you. So there you go. And right across the street, right here, you have parking. So if you want to put in there, there was people earlier. As you can see, there's cars across the street here. You know, if you wanted to, if you're adventurous and you want to put in a float, uh, you know, you can put in a tube here, float down to one of the private uh, or one of the public pickup places and have a really, really good time doing that. But that's it. 55 Anderson Way. Absolutely love this property. If you're looking for something, if you're an investor looking for something unique, or you just want something a little different, this is the property for you. Four bedrooms, it's got the suite, you've got the garage, a lot of opportunity, a lot of cool things. It just needs a little polish, and uh, you could have a really, really cool Airbnb for the savvy investor.